but that winds up giving you like a range of like what is appropriate for you to do with the the hand you have. There's a range of appropriate things you can do with the with the cards you have with the cards you have. Like there's like so you could be playing like it's on a spectrum or whatever and like As play, people an people who play risk? yeah people who play more towards the whatever like like computer like would have a very tight range well mm -hmm. not tight tight has a meaning in poker so i don't mean to say tight but like the range that they'll play is very uh is very thin like they'll play the same hand the same way most of the time or right. at least pretty close and those people are predictable because of that you can see what they're doing and the, num the amount of chips that they're choosing to put in and whether they bet or fold or does that fall. mean that, that it's um that the computer model is simple as in like like if it's predictable, that means that it's it's recognizable, yeah, it, like it's humanly recognizable. Yeah, yeah. It's not it, it, poker's not that complicated. Not not so complicated of a game that, I mean, that pe humans can solve humans can solve situations as to what would be statistically good choices. Um, but you have to play outside of those ranges to not be predictable. Okay, that makes and that's more where the sense. PvP kind of comes yeah. in. Yeah, but. So what you can do is, like, let's say I don't know what your hand is, but I based based on your first decision, I'm like, okay, well, you probably have a range of between like I could probably narrow it down to like 30 different hands that you probably have if, for you to make that decision. And okay. then if you make that decision, make another decision, and I can narrow it down some more. I can mm -hmm. narrow it down some more, if, depending on how kind of traditional of a player you are. Um, but just, just how risk averse you are. Yeah, or how much you're willing to play outside of that range, mm -hmm. uh, and. I mean, I'm probably butchering it a lot. I don't talk about poker very much, but like, I guess the point is, is that um, if you were to if you were to have a computer, if you were, if you were to like be very algorithmic about the decisions you make, in, if you had an algorithm in mm -hmm, your head mm -hmm. about how you played, or if you actually had a computer tell you what to do, you would wind up being having a, a very predictable. Uh, like people would be able to very accurately guess the hand you have based on the decisions you make. Oh, at what point does that is that is there like a, a skill curve to poker where like that would work initially and then it would stop working suddenly, or is it low enough on the skill curve that it should never work? Um, Which is kind of a weird question to ask. But. Uh, uh, it, it really depends on the environment that you're playing poker, and there's a lot of people who play online poker for low stakes in. And they and they put themselves in a position where following a flowchart is actually pretty okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are actually people in online poker who are doing that. Um, and they and based on who they're playing against, they, that can wind up being profitable. So, uh, but you're not gonna that you're not gonna get away with that at uh, in a poker tournament. Okay. But people are going to catch on. Yeah. It's like a jab down smash. I guess. <laughs> All right, so wait, wait, what, what happened? I think these scores are wrong. This, that, that couldn't have possibly been an entire game that just ended. Oh, wow, they are. They're up ahead. They're ahead one game. <laughs> they're ahead of a very strong game. But every game is just one game. You're, it's kind of funny. Isn't that kind of funny? Like, what? you can six-stock someone, and you only win one game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or you can one-stock someone, and you win the one game. Yeah, isn't that weird when, like, you lose two close games, but the one you won was, like, by a landslide? Yeah. Yeah, but you lost. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You might as well just you might as well just forfeit it. You could. Oh jeez. This is uh Oh, that wasn't even necessary. A roll would have been just fine there. What was that? <laughs> yeah, Mech has been playing too much. Too much uh, SD remix Captain Falcon. <laughs> tried to uh, tried to Falcon kick out of shield. Oh, do you see that? Double Captain Falcon clinking their forward smashes. Oh no! Oh, oh. What a side <laughs> Using his uh, invincible uh, <laughs> invincibility to oh, are they gonna take a life? Oh, what a tech! Oh. All right, this is not this is no longer doable. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, I, I like his style here. He's, he's doing a lot of running away and getting the free hits that are given to him. Oh, when he gets a need, I, turn winner's okay for Captain Falcon. Oh, Falcon. Oh, what a need! Uh, he's Falcon's going out left. there for it. All right, he was just he was just having a good time. All right, who does who does Mac? They they have to play uh, Elefante, right? 
I'm not. I yeah, it's remember. Elephant.